Hi, my name is Robert and I'm here to talk about my game, Comic Hunters. Comic Hunters is a game about collecting classic, modern and contemporary Marvel comic books. Each card in the game represents a Marvel comic book with its original cover art, publication data like name, issue number and year, hero icons indicating in which collections it should be added, and highlight icons indicating important features in that issue. Last but not least, the market value icon, indicating how much that comic is worth in the game. The game is divided in three rounds. In each round, players will visit three of the four locations where they can get comic book cards. Each location offers cards from a different era and a different way to get them. In the comic book shop, players find the latest releases and comics published since the year 2000. Players draft cards, choosing one and passing the others, until each player has four cards. Comics from the 80s and the 90s can be found in the flea market. Here, players have to choose adding a new card to an existing lot of cards the, on the table, or to get the cards in one of the lots and leave the location. In the website, Players get rare and valuable comics from the 60s and the 70s, through a turn order until pass auction, where the player with the highest bid gets the lot being auctioned. Finally, in the convention, comics from all eras can be found. Players get cards from a 5x5 card grid, choosing a hero and a column or a row from the grid. All the cards with the chosen hero icon in the chosen line go to the player's hand. And a little twist here. At the start of its turn, the player may move one of the cards through the empty spaces inside the card grid. At the end of the round, players may create new collections or add new cards to collections already in their play area. Each collection must have comics of the same hero, and players can have more than one collection, as long as each collection is of a different hero. To put cards in play, Players have to pay the same market value, discarding other cards from their hands. For example, if I want to add these comics to this collection, I have to discard these cards from my hand. When players add cards to their collections, they have to upgrade their markers on the highlight icon track. For each new icon added, the corresponding icon track marker moves the spaces equal to the market value in that card. At the end of the game, players get points according to where their markers are on this track. The player with the marker further on the track gets 15 points, the second place gets 12 points, and so on. There are other three ways players get points at the end of the game. First, for the size of their collections, according to the hyped heroes track. Second, for the different heroes collections they have. And third, for the tickets not spent in the auctions. After three rounds, the game ends and whoever has the most points is the greatest comic book collector of all time and wins the game. Hope you enjoy yourself a lot playing Comic Hunters soon. See you!